Einstein was an idiot. He was also a Freemason. Same thing. He was also a scientist. Same thing, again. Because, you see, unfortunately, scientists, official scientists, love to tell us lies and love to tell us things um, which are completely untrue, uh, a fact. Because, and they say that this is a fact because this theory was made by this person who was so intelligent, you know, and, and if we say, well, no, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 4, you're claiming it makes 15, they will answer you um, in a ridiculous manner and say to you something like, you're oversimplifying um, something which is very complicated. Rubbish. 2 and 2 equals 4. That's the end of the matter. Um, just watch this. Um, I was watching this on YouTube concerning Einstein and his theories. Now, listen to what happens here. Contrary to what we learned at primary school, the shortest distance between two points isn't necessarily a straight line. Now, first of all, he has just said that contrary to what we have learned at primary school, okay, which berates a fact and makes it appear to be childlike knowledge that the shortest distance between two points is not a straight line. Yes, it is. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, next time you're going to go somewhere, go there the long way around and then tell me if you got there quicker. Okay, it's not going to happen unless, of course, you've got traffic going on and that's irrelevant. Go the long way and take see how long it takes you. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. If it were not, aeroplanes would fly in zigzag lines to get to wherever it was that they were going and so forth. That's absolute nonsense. Now let's listen to the rest of this rubbish. To begin to understand what the aliens are doing, we again have to consult Einstein about his theories on gravity. Einstein saw mass and space, matter and space, is connected in the sense that you could explain gravity by saying that mass distorts space, that it exerts some force on it. Space is curved in the vicinity of matter, and the planets follow the shortest path on the curved surface of space. So massive objects bend space itself. Oh dear. Anyway, for those of you who uh, read the Bible and believe God and don't believe men and tares because they are amongst us and they are here to deceive us, just like God said, that there, there is, the whole world will be deceived. Okay? Now, God said that he hangs the earth on nothing. Earth, uh, space is a void. It is nothing. You cannot curve nothing. Now, if this theory were correct, and you see the way that it's been portrayed for you, you have a flat plane, a flat grid, and um, there's a planet, a globe, on this, um, on this flat grid. And we're meant to believe that this flat grid curves, okay, so there's, there's, there's your grid, there's the planet, and it will curve like this once the planet is on it. That's completely ridiculous. That wouldn't be so. Just think about that for just one moment. That would mean that space has an up and a down, which it does not. It's a void. It's a nothing. It would also mean, of course, that the people who are at the north side of the Earth um, would be affected by gravity, but the people on the south side um, would be squashed by what the Earth is resting on. Yeah? It makes no sense. It's a ridiculous theory. It cannot possibly be true because you cannot bend nothing. It's a void. There is nothing there. What a load of rubbish. If you listen to these scientists, they will have you believe that black is white, white is purple, and pink is blue. And this is exactly what is going on in this earth at this moment in time. Einstein's theories are Masonic theories. They are not what I consider to be factual science. God said 
that he hangs the earth on nothing. And space is a void, it is a nothing, therefore it cannot curve. These Freemasons who are running this earth alongside the tares are feeding us lies day and night until you completely lose your mind, until you don't know up from down, until you believe their nonsense where they tell you that you're oversimplifying a very complicated matter. No, God made everything amazing, but he also made things simple and he told us how they work. And also to call Einstein uh, the greatest mind that ever lived is also laughable. The person who said that should wear a red nose and baggy trousers and big shoes. Because God said that the wisest man who ever lived was King Solomon. Wiser than him, of course, was Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ was all man and all God. King Solomon was man. And how he gained his incredible wisdom was because he asked God. He said to God, please, Father, give me wisdom so that I may rule diligently over my people. And God replied to him and said, because you did not ask for yourself, I shall give you wisdom greater than any other man. And to this day, the wisest, the smartest and the most clever man was and remains King Solomon. The wisest man who was also God remains Jesus Christ. Einstein was a liar. Einstein was a deceiver. Einstein was a Freemason and Einstein was an idiot. And his idiotic theories are now being exposed for what they were. Rubbish. Complete and utter nonsense. Einstein was an idiot and Einstein remains an idiot today and for all eternity.